going to go ahead and set up a project for the Mini. Uh, it's going to be a glass engraving, so we'll be using a rotary attachment for this one. And uh, what the rotary attachment does is it actually turns the piece as it's engraving. So uh, wine bottles, glasses, mugs, flashlights, anything like that you can put right in the laser and it'll just turn it as it goes. Now setting this up for the laser is really, really easy. So what we're going to do is set our page length first. And this is going to be equal to the height of our glass, so six inches. And now the height of the page is actually equal to the circumference of the glass, or 10 inches. So this will be the top of the glass, and this is the bottom of the glass here. And we've already imported our image, so this Photoshop logo here. So let's bring it in. And I want it about two inches below the lip of the glass, so right around there. Now one of the secrets for really nice glass engraving is we're just going to adjust the graphic a little bit. We'll grab that back, black background. We're just going to change that to 80% black. What that's going to do is separate the dots just enough to give you a really nice frosted look when you're engraving. Now it's all set up. Let's go ahead and print it. Choose the mini as my laser. And so I've got my piece size in here, 6 inches by 10 inches. We'll go ahead and set it at 300 dots per inch for resolution. Turn on autofocus. And for speed and power settings, I'm going to use about 60% speed and 100% power on this one. And the other important thing for when you're working with glass is to change your image dithering. So here I usually use Stucky. So we'll go ahead and change that. It's OK. OK. And it's on its way to the laser. We're just going to go ahead and set up the laser for the rotational device. So what I'll do is turn off the machine. We're going to have to install the rotary, pull out the table. Now this is our rotational device. What it does is it has four wheels here that the piece sits on top of, and it'll turn the piece as it engraves. I can move this piece up and down to level out the area as well. Inside the machine are three holes. I'll just set it inside of and plug in the device. Once that's in, lower those rulers and turn on the machine. So well, that's rebooting. I'm going to go back to the computer real quick and send the job again because since we had turned it off, I just have to hit print again. You can see the laser head actually moved out over the rotary device. Now you know that it's, it knows that the attachment's in the machine. I'll take my glass and just set it on top of the rotary device. You just put it on top of all four wheels. Then we're just going to make sure that it's level. So what I'll do is just put this in here, hit X, Y off, using my focus gauge. It's touching right on that side, so I just want to make sure that this side touches as well. So I'll just jack it up a little bit. There we go. Now I know it's all level. Hit reset. I'll turn on my filtration unit and hit go. So that's the autofocus going, so it's getting, making sure it's at the right height. Now you're seeing a lot of flashback when you're doing glass. Uh, don't worry about it, it's not dangerous to look at, it's no worse than seeing a bright light. You're just seeing how the laser is actually reacting with the material. Yeah, we're getting a really nice frosting on this glass with these settings. The nice thing is, if I'm doing multiple glasses, all I'm going to do is pull out one, put the next one in, hit go again. I could do multiples just one after another that way. And you can see how fast it's really moving. You can barely see the glass turning, but you can see it as the engraving goes that it's actually moving throughout the, around on the glass. Some people use some other tricks when they're engraving on glass, such as putting on paper towels or dish soap to kind of cool the glass that engraves so you don't get any fracturing. 
Um, I find that by changing to 80% gray and uh, doing the stuffy dithering pattern, it really does a nice job with it. We find different glasses engrave with different quality. Uh, a lot of times, actually, the cheaper the glass, the better the engraving will be because there's less crystal content within it. Or lead content, I'm sorry. And there we go. It's going to turn back to the starting area. So pull that out. I'll just set this right here for you to take a look at. And I'll pull over a couple of their glasses that we've engraved as well, so you can kind of see some of the different images that you can get and just how nice it looks. It's just a really nice professional look on the glass.